10 years ago, we decided to run this course in order to update uh, the knowledge uh, of uh, healthcare professionals in the community. Of course, uh, like most courses, there are seminars, there are lectures, uh, but uh, in addition, we also use a lot of uh, case studies, okay, in order to illustrate the principles. Uh, there are a lot of uh, clinical attachments so that these uh, students, many of them are doctors, nurses, uh, nutritionists and even scientists, uh, where they also go and see how we, we manage patients, right? So it's a very experiential kind of learning. Our clinical attachments are conducted in small groups, so there's only a few students at a time, uh, and they have to go to different places, for example, and different schedules, uh, because obviously we also have to take into consideration uh, the schedules uh, given to us by the teachers. So if you, you can imagine if you just speak with paper forms, it would be very complicated. But actually through this uh, blackboard, uh, the schedules are there, people take, right, you know, and immediately on an online basis, we know how many sessions have been taken up. So literally it's just like going to the theatre and then you can book the six, and so you know whether they're occupied or not. We use the platform to, uh, to upload our PowerPoint, sometimes before the teacher actually gives the uh, lecture, so that the students can actually read it through first, so that they're better prepared. And then after the lecture, they can go back and refresh, okay, they can think about it, reflect upon it. We can upload our homework, or they can search materials. At the same time, you know, uh, we can conduct our examination, including submission of thesis. It's also a very good platform for communications, so we can notify the uh, students, remind them when they're having the exam, when they have to submit thesis, when they have to submit dissertation. If the students have queries, they can also submit. Uh, and, and then you know we'll be able to answer. At the same time, you know sometimes they use the platform to share, um, you know to share among the students as well. So it's a very interactive platform. We use a lot of videos as well, right? Because I think videos are very useful. Sometimes we have patients' interviews. Or we upload several interviews because sometimes uh, patients with uh, endocrine problem, and it's a very good way to demonstrate to students how to ask questions, you know, uh, and then you know interpret the symptoms. I gather that our course uh, uh, is found to be um, the one that is uh, using the blackboard most uh, often, right? This is also reflected by the satisfaction, satisfaction of our students. You know, we always have very, very good feedback from the students. The blackboard system can uh, provide us an access to the medical international guideline for the diabetes and endocrinology. And uh, one of our professors just uh, uploaded the international guideline about gynec gynecology uh, before our placement and then this can help us to prepare to uh, attend the placement and be more familiarized with uh, the patient that we come uh, coming across and then uh, another professor just uh, uploaded the YouTube videos for us to uh, learn more about diabetes because that video was about an international forum and then uh, she attended and, and then just provide us to a more broad horizon on the international aspect of the disease. Overall using Blackboard is a positive experience because uh, it is a convenient access platform that we can get the natural notes easily. Uh, mostly uh, I use the Blackboard by using mobile app download from App Store. I think this is a good platform that can we can access for 24 hour basis because we are working in shift so that uh, if we only we only have time at night to study and then I can get the natural looks and other information easy. By using mobile app, especially during the lecture, I can uh, access the natural looks in Bebo platform and then export to a PDF version so that I can directly uh, edit the uh, natural looks such as highlighting the main point or writing some notes next to it whenever I want and I can save it as a brand new PDF file and then print it out which is a, a tailor-made hard copy looks. In these days, you know, there are so much information and this kind of uh, education can be in different kind of formats. It can be like video, 
a bit slides, right? Uh, there are also many assessment methods, you know, it could be multiple choice, it could be uh, dissertation and also uh, short cases. So this is a platform where you can put all those together. I think uh, we should you know, uh, encourage uh, more teachers and also students to use this great platform uh, because it really um, is more efficient, okay, and it also more integrative as well.